Okay. Deep breath. Hold it. Exhale. Very slowly. That's right. Through your lips. What? Do I look like a puffer fish? Very controlled. That's Very controlled. attractive puffer fish. Why are we the partners are doing this? <laughs> now look what you made me do. Make sure hey, look, this is just a practice. You can use the second hand on your watch, whatever. We'll be pros when it's time, time to go for the go. Very important from the time they start until the time they end. All right? Well, let's give it another whirl. Inhale. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, the object is not to hold the breath. Derek, wait! The object. <laughs> hey, you. Mm. Sorry, I didn't wait for the grand opening, but oh, you know, please get in here. I was waiting for my engraved invitation in the mail, but it never came. Yeah, well, the grand opening is a long way off. Uh, I can barely scrape together my part of it, right? Well, you've got the interior design to the max here. Wow. Tell me about it. It looks great, really. Except for this hideous thing. What were you going for here? The Chucky effect? <laughs> Look, me. But that marionette is a priceless antique. It's worth more than everything else in this room put together. Well, it just goes to show that people will plop down good money for just about anything. C'est vrai, c'est vrai. A walking example. Oh, ladies, ladies. Look, I did not come here to argue the fine points of ugly with you. I came here for you. To get away from my father, actually, I thought maybe you'd want to go see a movie. You're gonna have to take a number. Terrence is spoken for tonight. Ah, Gloria. You're, you're too young to give up on happiness. It may, maybe it's, it's time to cut your losses and face the fact that Adam can't make you happy. Adam. I, I'm so glad. I was just explaining to Dimitri how well you're doing in your therapy. Don't touch me. What's wrong? I don't need comfort from a slut. Well, it was right. You're nothing but a tramp. Oh, do you really want to do this? You're making the mistake of your life here. You've got a whiff of him on your birthday, and you've been salivating ever since. Oh, really? Come on, just shut up. Just shut the hell up, no, Adam. Obviously, this is not a good time. The little tease Maybe. you did on the dance floor just, just wet your appetite. Would you listen to me? You couldn't me? wait to get him behind closed doors. Look, if you, if you don't stop right now, Adam, I swear I'll what, take... What? What are you going to do to me? You're going to throw me out of my wheelchair, beat me senseless? What a gallant, gallant champion you have, Clark. I won't let you abuse Gloria. Let me, you won't let me. She hasn't done anything wrong, Adam. Don't let her Gloria's generosity confuse you, boy. This is still my house, and she is still my wife. Let's stop this before it goes any further. We were not doing anything. You were pawing each other. Dimitri was giving me comfort. You seem to need a great deal of comfort these days. Yeah, I, wonder, I wonder why. And always from men. First from Alec, and now from Dimitri. Whoa. Before long, I'll have a stag line outside my front door. Oh, wait a minute. I told you nothing happened between Gloria and me. I, I don't appreciate being used as a weapon. Look, Adam, if you don't stop this right now, I swear I'm going to stop you. I wonder what Erica is going to say when she finds out you've been rooting among the former help. I'm sorry. Oh, God, I, Gloria, don't apologize. Look, I did not mean to hurt no, you. He, he should be begging your forgiveness. I didn't ask Dimitri to come up here. I just looked up and there he was. If I had known that Gloria, he Gloria, don't you, let I... him humiliate you. Nothing went on between Gloria, us. Gloria, stop this. You know, you know, I've always wondered why in a house full of servants. Angelique needed a live-in nurse, but of course you weren't there to, to take care of Angelique. You were there to service him, Well, oh, that's you? not true, Adam, and you know that. Weren't you? When, when, he, when he was saddled with an invalid, you took care of him. 
And now that you got a cripple on your hands, you're returning the favor. Don't you do this. Gloria, Gloria get, get out of here. Just leave him to me. Dimitri, you leave. You Gloria, please, home. go. Don't. You take one step outside this house, and I swear you regret it. Go. Now. She walks out of that door, and I hope she keeps going. I hope she has the courage never to come back here. I have tickets to the jazz concert at PVU. <sighs> and how'd you manage to do that? That thing's been sold out for two weeks now. My sister can't go, so she passed them along to me. And you said how much you like jazz, so... I'm sorry I can't ask you to join us, but we only have two tickets. Otherwise, you know... Oh, of course. Oh, may Bruce. we? Mm -hmm. Of course, you could hang around outside. Maybe somebody would want to sell their tickets. Oh, no, really. You know, I'd really rather dive headfirst into a vat of toxic waste. <laughs> I hate jazz. Well, Terrence, I guess I'll have to take a rain check on the movie. Oh. I guess that means I'm all yours. <laughs> Great. I even managed to con Maria out of her car. Can you believe that? Oh, con job. That must have been a real stretch for you. So I, I have wheels, if you trust my driving. I'm impressed by your steering so far. Sounds like you got the whole night plan. Uh, I just need to go and change my clothes. And fasten your seatbelt. Um, don't. I mean, you don't have to change. I think you look downright gorgeous just as you are. And, uh, besides, I hate walking in late. It's so rude. Oh, far be it from you. Well, look, we got plenty of time. It's, it's no problem. Well, I'll go and wait in the car then. Okay. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Are you out of your mind, Terrence? Ooh. That girl is a parasite. With all this encouragement, you'll never get rid of her. Please, what makes you think I want to get rid of her? Well, sooner or later, everyone takes out the trash. <sighs> You're an obnoxious snob, you know that? And Julia is the dregs of humanity. She has no manners, no taste. No taste? Yes. Ah, taste is in the eyes of the beholder. She has no breeding, Terrence. No breeding? Mercy me, gosh. I'm just, I'm mortified. She is grossly inappropriate for you. I mean, trust me, I know these things. Thanks for your expert advice. But stick it, okay? Stop! Julia! Is a Venus flytrap in platform pumps, okay? Excuse me? You're on my side? Shocking, isn't it? <sighs> Do you know that she turned up on Charlie's door one day playing this whole damsel in distress routine, nude, wearing nothing but a towel? Nude! Just as I suspected, she is a total tramp. Why don't things like this ever happen? She oh. was just pacing up and oh. down the halls looking for the first available total stranger's door to knock on, okay? Now, we're talking this girl is just a few watts short of a dim bulb. Man, I bet she was cute. Oh, yeah, yeah she was just adorable until Charlie gave her the time of day and then he couldn't shake her. So she's friendly, so what? Friendly? Friendly? The girl wanted to have herself surgically attached to Charlie. Oh, poor Charlie. She calls herself spontaneous. She is about as spontaneous as a neutron bomb. And guess what, honey? You're the next ground zero. Fine with me. Fine with you. Yeah. Hello? Is anybody home? There's something not right with no, that girl. there is something not right with you and Taylor, and I've just figured out exactly what it is. You guys are jealous. Oh, please. Yeah, well, yeah you guys are jealous. All of a sudden, there's a, another fly girl in town. You guys got a little competition. So you're all bent out of shape. Look, my advice to you guys is get over it, all right? You know, Terrence, I am not jealous of that tawdry little piece of Texas trash. If you think she's competition for me, you're more confused than I thought, you know. You're asking for trouble, Terrence. You'd know that if you'd start thinking with your brain instead of your glands. Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. You know, I honestly thought that he had more sense than that. I am just totally disappointed in him. Yeah, I can see that. You know, uh, maybe Terrence was onto something. What? That cheesy... No, I'm not talking about Julia. I'm talking about you. Could it be that this little living arrangement between you and Terrence is becoming more than strictly platonic? Terrence and me? You have got to be kidding. Why would I waste my time with a juvenile? I have bigger fish to fry.
You were looking for me, right? No, you go ahead. You are busy. No, the class just started. Why don't you just say what you came to say? Okay, Mimi, you want me to make up some police business so you want to hear the real deal? Because I have had it up to my eyeballs with our garbage. Sir, just say it. During labor. This technique is marvelous. It's going to stand you in very good stead. It's going to help you fight fatigue. I thought you were doing this Lamas thing without a partner. I'm feeling like public enemy number one. So here I come, Derek to the rescue. I'm ready to sign up to be your, to be your uh, partner. But no, that's funny, right? Why didn't you tell me before I left the station? Why didn't you tell me you had a standby on hold? Derek, I didn't have anybody on hold, okay? Look, Mr. I volunteered, okay? Now, Derek is your first choice. Listen, I'll be glad to step aside. It's important that you take this Lamas class. And it doesn't matter with whom. Yeah, well, you heard the man, it doesn't matter. Besides... Lucas has just as much right to be here as I do. This is not about rights, And Derek. obviously, he is raring to go, and I'm not so whoop. There it is. You are covered. Derek, you don't understand. No, Mimi, I do understand. I knew right from the start this two men and a baby wasn't going to play in Pine Valley. Nothing has changed. I mean, this is an impossible mess. It's not impossible. Well, it is for me, Mimi. And I tell you what, I do not want to deal with it. So you can count me out. You can count me out of this whole thing. Derek, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Let him go. Come on, just let him go. Going somewhere? Sorry, I didn't mean to... Freak me out? I'm getting good at it. Is that why you're running away from home? Dimitri and I are going to L.A. tomorrow. I see. Well, it's not too late to change your mind. Are you sure you want to confront your father? It's the only way. It's the only way to do what? Make yourself miserable? Look, I'll be fine. I, I'm not going to be there alone. Dimitri will be there with me the whole time. Don't even start. I didn't even say a word. You have that look, that poor foolish girl she's in love with her stepfather look. No, not at all. Uh, you corrected that misimpression. So, uh, you don't have to kiss me again to prove how wrong I was. Sorry about that. But what, kissing me? Not one of my finer moments. I was hoping it was. I thought the kiss was very, uh, enjoyable. If you enjoy reliving the seventh grade. The seventh grade? Early adolescence. Before anyone learned how to kiss, touch, make out, make love, I missed the entire how-to curriculum. Too bad I can't go back and repeat a grade, huh? But I'm sure you have had some experience, right? You called it when you said that I would know the real thing from a... No, that's, that's not what I meant. Close enough. You can give yourself a gold star for accuracy. In the man-woman department, I'm dysfunctional. Oh, yeah? I doubt that. More likely you never had the right teachers. No, please, please, don't do that. Please. I can't stand it. I really can't. I have a few things to clear up with Mr. Merrick. Leave us alone, Alec. Now, if I ever catch you dogging my wife again, hey, whoa, you're whoa, gonna... Wait, wait, you, you'll do what? what? What What could you possibly do to me, huh? Uh, call me names? Fire me? Humiliate me? No, Adam, I'm not your wife. I'm not your child. I'm not your lackey. You have no power over Don't me. Don't push your luck. Oh, what? What? You're gonna read me up? Come on, come on. Come on, give it all you got. Go for the jugular. Huh? As if I care what you think? You're a coward, Adam. You're, you're a weak, useless coward. Talk about a cheap shot. I'm not talking about your health. I'm talking about what you should have inside here. And now, you know, I never figured you as Mr. Humanity. But I, I thought at least you had some guts. Obviously, I gave you too much credit. Oh, please spare me. Don't tell me you're going to launch into a sermon on spiritual uplift. No, 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 no. no. That, that would be a waste of time because you haven't got any spirit. One, one bad break, it's gone. You, you call this one bad break? You don't have any idea what you're talking about. No, I watched Angelique 
bring herself back from the dead. She never once used her, uh, her uh, infirmity as a crutch. She never took her pain out on somebody else. She had ten times the courage that you have. Well, maybe you admired Angelique's courage. But while she was fighting her way back from the dead, you were having a cheap affair with Erica, weren't you? There it is. Finally, finally, we do get to the crux of the matter. Sex. Sex. Or should I say, the lack thereof? Presumptuous. No, well, you, you feel less than a man, right? I agree. But it's not because you're impotent. It's because you're stupid and you're cruel. You can't make love to Gloria. So you turn it back on her. You make her wrong. Get out. Get out of here. You know, Adam, it's not that chair that's wrecking your marriage. It's not Gloria or me or any other man. It's you, Adam. It's you. You're so wrapped up in your own stupid insecurities, you can't see the truth that Gloria loves you as much as she ever did. You go on. You, you keep pushing her, and she'll go. And I'll be right by her side cheering her on. You're right. You're not a real man anymore. I'm so glad that you came here. Uh, I was just running someplace to get away. I, I wasn't coming after you. It doesn't matter. You're here now, and this is where you're going to stay. No, I can't. Oh, yes, you are. You are not going back to that house. I have Gloria, to. Gloria, you are not going back there. Not now. At least not until he cools down. Give him enough time, maybe he'll see what a jerk he is. Oh, he's not a jerk. Yes, he is, and you're shivering. Come on, let's get inside. Yeah, Alex, Come I on. Can't, I That's it. <laughs> like this. It's killing me. Can you help me? Please. Help me. You deliberately sent me to that Lamaze class. I did not send you anywhere. Well, when I left the precinct, you knew where I was hidden, and you, you knew Lucas was already there, correct? Yes, all right. I heard Mimi ask Lucas to be her coach, and I watched them walk out together. And you didn't even warn me. Yes, I tried to warn you, remember? You ordered me not to say a word about Lucas. Well, since when do you follow orders? Well, since I'm sick and tired of trying to clue you in. And you thought my walking in on Lucas and Mimi would, tri would do the trick? Yes. Well, thanks, Taylor. Thank you. Thank you very much for making me look like a fool. Derek, you are not a fool. Mimi is just trying to play you for one. And I thought that it was time that you woke up to that. Well, that is not your call to make. Well, whose is it? Certainly not yours. I mean, you and Daddy are Mimi's puppets, and she's pulling all the strings. You know, I thought that maybe if you saw that for yourself, you'd start thinking about Derek for a change. Baby or no baby, you know, it's time to snap out of it and stop letting Mimi just jerk you around. Aren't you sick of letting Derek bring you down? When are you going to give up on that creep? This class is supposed to be about preparing you for the best day of your life. Ruth is in there teaching about relaxation. And because of Derek, you're out here all tied up in knots. Look in here. No. Strain yourself. Don't work too hard. Just get up there easily. That's good. We're going to be learning some exercises here that are going to build up muscle endurance. These people are working together. They're not tearing each other apart. I mean, this is supposed to be about teamwork. Look at all those smiles in there. They're talking about babies. Those warm, cuddly things that just bring joy to everyone's heart. Let's go for the joy, Mimi. Take your hand. I mean, can't we at least give it a shot? Very easily. That's right. Now, you're going to help force... Oh, well, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, I'd like to see you sitting. That's right, honey. Just and put your feet together, you know, soul touching. 
Gently pull your feet in towards your body. Look as if you want to give her some support on her back. Feel free. Thanks. front lawn. Does that mean that Winifred didn't get around to it yet, or do I still have a home? Adam, are you all right? Are you in pain? What's the matter? Should I call a doctor? I'm... I'm gonna go call Joe. No, no. Go and please find Gloria and bring her here. I think she's out. We'll look for her. I already did, all over the house. Uh-oh. What have you done to her now? Well, it must have been pretty severe if she finally hit the streets. Go and find her, please. please. No. Haley, please. No way. Why? Why should I? So you can finish the job? I'm not going to take the lamb to slaughter. Don't ask. I have to talk to her. Maybe she's heard enough of your mouth. I'm not going to bring her back here for more. Maybe, just maybe, she's found a little peace. If she has, I say good for her. Gloria, I will do anything that you want me to. Just name it. Then tell me what to say, how to say it. Just say what you feel. No, I'm too clumsy for no, that. No, you're not. Every time I open my mouth and I talk to Adam, I just make him angry. You have a wonderful way with him. You have a... A great way of calming him down. Just help me to... Gloria, to... I, would, I, I would rather help you jump off a cliff. But you said that you would... Help. Gloria, the only thing harder than watching Adam spit on you just now was watching you stand there and take it. And now you're asking me to help you crawl back to him on your hands and knees, and you can forget it. He's my husband. He is cold and destructive, and he is choking the life out of you, and I'll be damned if I'm going to help him do it. I have to make him see that I'm... What? What do you have to make him see? That you are a valuable human being? That you, you don't deserve to be talked to like you're some kind of dog? That you're not going to lie down and take his sick abuse anymore, Gloria? The only way to make him understand that is to tell him to go to hell. That's all you can do. I can't. Why? You don't need a man in your life who treats you like dirt. Maybe that's what I am. No, you're not. Gloria, please don't say that, because it's not true. He has got you brainwashed, that's all. Adam knows what I'm like. No, he doesn't. If he knew what you were like, he would cherish you, believe me. He would turn himself inside out to try to make you happy. Maybe I don't deserve to be happy. Why? Why don't you deserve to be happy? Because of some mistakes you made a long time ago? No, because of the mistakes that I make now. Like what? What? Alec, Adam can see right through my faithful wife to act. He knows it's a lie. What are you talking about? You're not unfaithful to Adam. In my head, I am every day. He's not a fool. I think he suspects that, that that's why he hates my guts. No matter how many times I tell him that I love him, he knows I want someone else. Who? That doesn't matter. Is it Dimitri? Oh, no. No, there's never been anything between me and Dimitri. Well, then who? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It matters to me. Let it go. No. Please, tell me. I need to know. I can't do this. Gloria, please. Not until you tell me. Who? Please, let please. it Please. My children will be back in session right after this. You want me? Oh, I'm sorry. 
No. No, 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 no. I've got it. I've got it. It's in my head, and and, and and I cannot get it out. It's just like stuck there because it, it seems so strong between us, like like the other night when we when we were swimming and today in the gym. Gloria. Oh, no, no. I I don't want you to say no, anything. No, no, no. I, I, I prefer that you didn't say anything, and, and I don't want you embarrassed. I really don't, and I'm... and I, I don't want you to feel obligated, and, I, and I'm not gonna rush or, or push myself upon you. That I promise. But I do need to leave. No, wait a minute. Whoa. Give me a second here. I... It's my turn to be honest. I cannot even face you. It's all a shame. Well, you're ashamed because you think that you've just confessed to somebody who's totally innocent. You think that you're in the middle of some wild fantasy love affair, and that's not true. Because I am, I am right here with you. I think I'm the one that got it started. Look, you don't have to say that. Gloria, that be true. listen to me. Listen to me. Every kiss that you have imagined, I have imagined too. Every touch that you thought you dreamed of, believe me, I have put here. I wanted you from the first day that I saw you when you fainted in my arms at the hospital, and I have wanted you more and more every day since then. I didn't know if you could feel it. I didn't know if you knew it. But I, I just, I took every excuse I could to be near you, to, to talk to you, to touch you by accident. I can't sleep at night because I can't stop thinking about you. The night of your birthday, I thought I would die if I couldn't have you. And when I walked into the study and I saw you in there, it was like my dream had come true. You never said anything. What? I never said anything? Why do you think I didn't say anything? I tried to tell you. All those times that I told you I would be your friend, I was trying to tell you that I was crazy about you. When I said that you could count on me as your ally, I, I, all I could think about was being your lover. Gloria, don't be ashamed. Because I'm not. This is right. And I know that you feel it, too. This was supposed to happen. You know you don't belong with Adam. You belong with me. People have fights. It's not the end of the world. Gloria was the best thing that ever happened to you. Stop using the past tense. She'll be back. And what makes you so sure? I love her. Oh, you love her. You love her so much that she spends half of her day in tears and the other half pacing the floor. You love her so much that her entire existence here gives the phrase living hell new meaning. Gloria knows I love her. I know you love me. That doesn't stop me from wanting to move out three times a week. She can't stay away. She's in love with me. That doesn't mean she can live with you. Maybe she's finally figured that out. Maybe in a couple of months we'll get a postcard from Gloria, postmarked Timbuktu. Shut up. Or maybe, maybe we won't even hear from her again. She can't stay away. That can't happen. Well, what have you done lately to make her want to stick around? What's the matter with you? Are you afraid of me or something? It's not you. It's just everybody. Every male person over the age of 12. Why, Kendall? Did anything bad ever happen with a boy? When I was 14, I found out by accident that the lady in the apron didn't give birth to me. I was adopted. Well, I'm sure that must have been very traumatic, but I don't see I how... I also... I also found out that my birth was this major catastrophe in some ninth grader's life. I didn't know that she was raped. I had all these visions of my mother, like me, just fooling around in the backseat of some guy's car, and the next thing you knew, there was this baby. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. I didn't want to know about 
about sex or anything even connected with it. To me, sex was like the enemy. It was, it was something waiting to, to grab me and just destroy my entire life. Only I wasn't going to let it. I wasn't even going to get close. Kendall, you have dated, right? A little. And did everything proceed normally? Up to a point. What point? Kissing? And I'd freeze up and freak out. Like I did with you. Kendall, did any, anyone ever tell you that it takes a lot more than kissing to get pregnant? I mean, you could devote your entire life to kissing me. It's still... I know that, Anton. I'm not saying that it's rational. I got turned off by the stuff at an early age, and now it's just probably too late. Trust me, it's never too late. Fine. Maybe I'm, one day I'll meet some magical man who can make all my fears disappear. But until then, I don't think it's any use to... The world is full of magic, Kendall. You're making fun of me. I'm absolutely sincere. You think I'm crazy? I can follow your line of logic. It is bizarre, but it works in its own peculiar way. Peculiar? It's me. Extraordinary, unique, singular. May I suggest a small experiment? How small? A kiss. Just one tiny little kiss. And if you don't like it, we never even speak of it again. Forgive me. What, no, 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 don't, don't go, don't go. I need you. Um, I, I need you to, to tell me, to tell me about, um, um, about, about Los Angeles. Does, does it rain a lot? Oh, you've never heard of the great monsoons? It's supposed to be funny. When were you ever in L.A.? Never, but I know it's a desert. Unless there's one, more than one Los Angeles in California. If it would make you feel better, just pack a raincoat or call Haley and ask. She'll be coming with us. Haley's coming? That's great. Well, I hope the trip is everything you want it to be. We'll talk before you leave. Oh, I doubt it. I, I have so much to do, packing and all. You'll be probably up all night. Oh, that much time just to squeeze in a raincoat? Or do you feel the need to uh, squeeze in some rain boots as well? Well, good night. Good luck. Uh, yeah, Anton, good night. Look, don't get the wrong idea. That, it, it didn't mean anything. He's just so yeah, incredibly I'm, I'm glad that you and Anton have worked it out. Whatever it is. Despite what, what you think you might have seen, there, there's nothing going on between us. Uh, may, maybe not yet, but there's obviously potential. I don't think so. <laughs> why don't you give him a chance? Well, well, I can't think of one good reason why I should. Oh, I, uh, I can. Anton's a good man, he's smart, he's interesting, close to your age. And I agree with Erica. I think you need a young man in your life. What, I, you're offended? No. Uh, look, look, Kendall, I'm not up on the current uh, dating trends. Uh, if Anton isn't up to your no, standards, it's, I... it's not that. Anton is the farthest thing from my mind. Tomorrow, it's, it's meeting my father for the, for the first time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. But you'll get through it. And I will be there by your side. All the way. All the way. Okay, now you take that pamphlet home and you read it. If you've got any questions, we'll deal with them next session, all right? Good night. Good night, everybody.
Hey, don't get depressed on me. <laughs> we got four weeks to go. Huh? Look, week five, video, birthing process. I mean, if, you, uh, if you're not up to it, you close your eyes, I'll take notes. Hey, that last pelvic rock really took it out of you, huh? No, the class was great. I really loved it. You were happy there for a while. Yeah, I was happy, and I'm going to be happy again. It's just that right this minute, I really... You're back on Derek. I've made up my mind. You were right. Giving up on him. You're right. I needed a reality check, and you just worked it out for me to get one. I am sorry I popped off at you. Apology accepted. Oh, man, everything you said was true. Man, I can't go on like this. I'm gonna have to give up on Mimi. Breakthrough. It's taken me months and months to get you to this point. Hey, Taylor, that does not mean I am ready to leap into anything else. Who said anything about leap? How about just a slow trot? Taylor. Or a long, <laughs> sensual slide. Listen, I have a few new CDs. We could just hang out here. Terrence is in hot pursuit of this armadillo queen. He probably won't even be back until tomorrow. Don't even ask me about that. <laughs> well, unlike Terrence, um, I have to get home. Why? We can watch the same old sitcoms here. Wait a minute, what makes you think I don't have anything else on my docket but some old TV? Do you really have something else penciled in for tonight besides nursing your old Mimi wounds? Well, not really. Then why not stick around? No reason. No reason at all. Next half, old Ramos. You know who I'm talking about, the Brazilian drummer? Man, last year I loved that guy. Last, last year I saw him in uh, Center City. This guy can work a samba beat like you would not believe. are going to start again soon. What bands? <laughs> Look, seriously, we ought to get back. Would you hate me if I confessed? <laughs> Couldn't hate you if I tried. Jazz makes me sleepy. <laughs> Don't tell me you're ready to nod off on me. No. I was just hoping maybe we could move the party to another location. Would you mind? No. Um, we could go to house if you want. Or, uh, McKay's house, McKay's... I was thinking more along the lines of your place. I'd like to explore our common interests in private. Is there a, a time limit on us exploring our common interests? No. What's the rush? Well, none, I guess. Okay, good, because uh, old Ramos is just here for tonight, so I just want to catch him while he's here. All right, come on. Look, the next time your mother sends a household appliance, you better send the staff to work it, too. Knowing you know? Mommy, I'm surprised she didn't. <laughs> you need to be a nuclear physicist to know how to read these directions. I'll have Mommy send one. Cappuccino. Not me. Why don't we just skip the coffee and move right along? Well, you know what I said about not leaping in there, anything. You know what I said about a gradual slide? <laughs> gradual slide is cool. <laughs> Good night. Good night.
Stop writing me. I can't... I can't take it anymore. Well, now you know how the rest of us feel. I'm sorry. I want... I want to tell Gloria how sorry I am. But I can't because I don't know where she is. I want you to go find her. You got to, I can't do it myself. I want you to bring her home so I can tell her I'm sorry. I'll die if I lose her. show you how much I need you and how precious you are to me. Oh, please let me make love to you, please. Now. Now. If you're interested in attending an Oprah Winfrey show about families who feel they don't spend enough time together, call 591-9111. We'll talk with families who barely see each other, let alone share a meal together. If this describes your family and you're interested in participating in this discussion, call 591-9111. Life to Live, next. <laughs> 